In this video, we will talk about how to create a pyramid chart in R. We would be using these three packages, dplyr, pycharter, and getminder. So let's prepare our data first. We're going to use the getminder data set. So let's see the data first. So the data is about the population of different countries and for different years. So using this command, we would extract the data for the latest year. So top 10 countries by population and for the year 2007. So our first chart using the highlighter library is this. So this is countries by population. Country with the highest population at the bottom. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and I don't know. Fifth. Let's start customizing the charts to add some more elements into that. For example, we would like to have the title at the top, subtitle at the bottom with a break, line break, and then the third line there. And then we also want to add a theme. There are a number of themes there, and one of the themes is HC theme ggplot2. And then we also want to customize subtitle style by reducing the font size to 8 and the color to red. Similarly, the legend and the caption as well. So let's quickly run this chart. So we create the chart and then print the chart. So there it is. Um, it's been customized with a header for the title and the subtitle broken down into two lines. This theme is Etsy theme, ggplot2. And there are a number of other themes which are available. And in our description, we have the link to our code sheet which has all the codes and it also shows you all the all the themes which are available and lastly how do we save this into a static image so like always we're going to use another two packages called html wid widgets and the web shot html widget is going to convert your chart which is etc into an html file first on my d drive and then using the webshot package that url which you just created above which is this into a static image or a png file and there's a delay of four because this is uh, an interactive chart so it takes a bit of a time to render that's why we have given it a delay of four you can increase the delay if if the chart seems to be half finished so the chart starts rolling from the or the chart starts rendering from the left hand side and it takes a bit of a time to show it completely on your screen. So if um, in your web shot, if you only capture half of the image because it's not been rendered completely, increase the delay. So if I run these libraries and call HTML widgets and call the web shot, I should have a static image on my D drive. So there you go. I have a static image called pyramidcharts.png and I'll bring it in a Word document. So here is my word, and I'm going to drag that image in there. So this is how it's going to look into your Word document. I hope you found this information useful. Have a look at the code sheet which accompanies this video. And thank you very much for watching it, and I'll see you in the next one.